TJ example one, x squared plus y squared equals five, x plus y equals three. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna label the top equation, x squared plus y squared equals five, equation number one, and the bottom equation, x plus y equals three, equation number two. Equation number two, x plus y equals three, I need to make y the subject. To do that, I'm gonna subtract x from both sides. So minus x minus x. So we should have y equals three minus x. Now I'm gonna substitute y equals three minus x into equation number one, x squared plus y squared equals five. So we should have x squared plus three minus x squared equals five. I'm just gonna rewrite this equation again so I have a double bracket. So x squared plus, open brackets three, minus x, close brackets, open brackets three, minus x, close brackets equals five. I'm then going to expand the brackets. So x squared plus nine, minus three x, minus three x, plus x squared equals five. I'm gonna collect like for like terms and also subtract five from both sides to equate the equation to zero. So it'll be two x squared minus six x plus four equals zero. I'm then going to divide everything by two to make life a lot easier for us. So it's x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. I'm then going to factorize x squared minus 3x plus 2 to find the values of x. Open brackets. Therefore, the values of x is equal to one or two. Now to find the value of y, we're gonna substitute the values of x, one and two, into equation number two. So, let me just draw a straight line. So, when x equals one, Therefore, y is equal to two uh, coordinates where the line intersects is one and two. And when x equals two, two plus y equals three. Therefore, y is equal to one and it intersects at the point two, and one. So our final answer is one and two, two and one. Teacher's example two, x squared plus four y equals five, y minus two x equals five. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna label the top equation x squared plus four y equals five equation number one, and y minus two x equals five, equation number two. Now, like I did in the previous example, I'm gonna make equation number two y the subject. To do that, I'm gonna add two x to both sides. So y is equal to five plus two x. I'm now going to substitute y equals five plus two x into equation number one. So x squared plus four, open bracket, five plus two x, close bracket, 
equals 5. I'm then going to expand the brackets. So x squared plus 20 plus 8x equals 5. I'm then going to subtract 5 from both sides. x squared plus 8x plus 15 equals 0. So we have x squared plus 8x plus 15 equals 0. To find the value of x, we're going to factorize x squared plus 8x plus 15. x x positive 5 positive 3 therefore the values of x is equal to minus 5 and minus 3 now to find the value of y we need to substitute the values of x which are minus 5 and minus 3 into equation number 2. So now I'm going to draw a straight line. So when x is equal to minus 5, substitute into equation number 2, so we have y minus 2, open brackets, minus 5, close brackets equals 5. y minus 2 times minus 5 gives us positive 10 equals 5. I'm then going to subtract 10 from both sides. Therefore y is equal to minus 5. So our first coordinate is minus 5 and minus 5. Now to find the other point we're going to substitute x equals minus 3 into equation number 2. So when x equals minus 3 substitute into equation number 2 where y minus 2 open brackets minus 3 close brackets equals 5 y plus 6 equals 5, subtract 6 from both sides, therefore y is equal to minus 1, so the, the line intersects at minus 3 and minus 1. So our final answers are minus 5, minus 5 and minus 3 and minus 1. Just to test your understanding, can you attempt the following two questions? Um, you can possibly answer them in five minutes. Pause the video and can you answer the question on the left and on the right? So the first question is y squared minus x squared equals 8, x plus y equals 2. The second question is x squared plus y squared equals 10, y equals x minus 2. The correct answer is, for this one, it is minus 1 and 3. And the correct answer for this one is 3 minus 1, minus 1 and minus 3. Now, finally, can you answer the first 22 questions? Pause the video and attempt the questions. The answers to the questions are right over here. So please mark your work. Thank you for watching.